everyone. Thanks for joining. I'm really excited to be sewing a swimsuit today. Um, I'm going to be making our Salida swimsuit, which is a one piece. You can kind of see it on my table there, the instructions. And it has super cute paneling. And it also has uh, like a one shoulder, um, a one shoulder uh, silhouette. And I think it's really cute. And I, I haven't sewn this pattern as is before. I've hacked it into a two piece or I've just used the bottom part of it. So I'm really excited to stitch this up. And I have my sewing machine all wrapped. I have a super stretch needle in place. And I really like these needles. Um, they're the organ needles and it's called super stretch and they work really well for spandex even better than just like a regular ballpoint or stretch needle they are really meant for like spandexes and it's 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 a great needle to use um when you are stitching together spandex fabric so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and i'm I want to make the whole swimsuit, so we'll see how long it takes, but I think, you know, on these lives, it's been, you know, like an hour and a half, and I easily think that I can make it. Oh, hi, Charlotte. Uh, I'm excited. I just got out of the pool. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> we were literally sitting, my husband and I, outside yesterday, and there's this part of our backyard I was like, I want to put in a pool so bad. I grew up with a pool. I'm like such a water baby. Um, so I'm just, that's why I love sewing swimwear and it's so easy. So I'm going to go ahead and let's get started. So I have all my pieces here and this is, my fabric is a really funny selection because, um, I didn't like go shopping for, you know, a fabric that I was going to make this swimsuit in. So I just went to my stretch fabric scrap bin I have like a a chest of drawers across here and I just have like a bunch of spandexes so I just pulled out what I wanted to make and look at this fabric I got this literally like almost 10 years ago when I lived in New York City um it's a store called spandex house and look at this spandex it's a wood grain print <laughs> I think it's so fun I have leggings that I made out of it and I had just enough to to cut out these panels and then I cut one in lining too for the front pieces. So I have this fun wood grain print and then I have a black pleather for kind of this middle section. So you can kind of see um, there's like the top contrasting piece, there's like the bust front, uh, the bust piece and then like the lower piece that's the same as the back. So I have a wood grain print. I have a black pleather You know what because why not like swimsuits so fun and then of course I can't sew a swimsuit without lime green so I have a lime green top band and then the strap so it's gonna be like wood grain black pleather and lime green and it's gonna just be super fun um, I have lime green thread so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually baste um, my lining to my front pieces it's just easier I just do like a little basting stitch all around just to keep the pieces together for when I sew it so it acts as like one piece of fabric so there we go and then my black leather I mean that's the good thing about when you're just paneling fabrics together. If they're just sewn together, they just can go together, you know? Um, especially with like kind of like solids. Like you could just put any kind of solid fabrics together and we'll just go. So I'm just going to pin and just baste my linings to my front pieces. Oh, so fun. And I don't even use a stretch stitch to be honest. Um, oh, hi, Esther. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, I hope it will look fantastic. So I'm putting my sewing machine to stretch medium, and I'm just going to do a straight stitch um, because these, when I do the actual seams, I'll do the stretch stitch, and then the, you know, these will just, um, they'll, they'll pop. It's just like the holding stitch. 
because I don't want this to take too long. So I'm just going to do like a four stitch length and just kind of within the seam allowance, just stitch them together. And I have a lime green thread too. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be cute. Um, yeah, this summer we've been going a lot more to like the the lake and stuff. So that's been really fun. Um, and now that I moved to my like hometown, I, my dad, like my parents have a hot tub. So I've been going in that a lot more. So I love a cute swimsuit for that. And you can use that all year round too. And like this, I could totally wear like as a top too. I could just put on some shorts or a skirt and it's like a cute little top too. The wood grain print spandex is just <laughs> so fun. It's like literally my favorite store in the whole world. I used to go there all the time. It's in the garment district in New York and it's like, I want to say it's like three level. Maybe it's two stories, but any spandex print you would ever want is there. Okay. Almost done. Just stitching it together. Probably could have even adjusted my stitch length a little bit more. I might do that for my other piece go up to about five just to, there we go that's better I don't even I don't even backstitch oh it's gonna look so cute I love a black um leather spandex so cute I mean look at that it's <laughs> I love it <sighs> I had another spandex I was almost going to cut. It's like, I also, yeah, no, I did get it there. It's like skeleton surfboarding. <laughs> Maybe I'll make another swimsuit in that if this turns out great, which I know it will. Um, I might just have to make another one. Because I also am having, I'm traveling again to Denver in, in a month. And the hotel that I'm staying at has an outdoor, has an outdoor pool. So I've been wanting to make a new swimsuit to take, you know, any excuse, right, to make a swimsuit. A little weird fold here. Hi, Christina. <laughs> okay. It's a little weird fold there. There we go. I think this swimsuit will actually come together super quick. I think I can do it in like an hour. So it's it's noon Eastern time. Let's see if I can get this entire swimsuit done by one. I think I might be able to. Because it's just a few seams. We just sew together the front panel seams and then we sew the front to the back. Sew on the strap and just elasticate and top stitch everything. Yes, I do. I'm only basting all sides when I'm lining it. So I'm just going around the entire piece of just my front. Um, my front pieces. I don't line my back pieces, but you could line every single piece. Also, just depending on your spandex, if it's a light color or a little bit see-through. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. So now I'm just going to pin all my panel pieces together. Um, I think I'm going to also pin my straps. I'm going to take off these 
pins and let's pin them together. So this swimsuit, so it has three pieces for the front. So I'm gonna lay this right side up and this gets stitched to this. So I'm just going to put these right sides together. Um, and just do a couple pins. And then I'm, oh, I, <laughs> it fell. There we go. Oh, okay. Ah, my line green piece. Okay, and then I'm going to unpin this. And everything's right side up when, oh, it's <laughs> left over pin. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be cute. And I'm not lining this top part. It's just like um, the top little band. So I'm just leaving it like that. So I'm going to stitch. Oh, I didn't check. What the, I should probably look at, I didn't even look at the instructions. I'm just, like, honestly, yeah. So you just pin it together. I just need to check what the seam allowance is. Um, three eighths of an inch. That's what I thought. Okay. Pin those together. I do as much pinning as I can. Oh, I already that preview. It's so cute. And then the strap, I'm just going to pin it to this because this entire piece gets elasticated and then you wrap the strap around and then you pin it to the back. You can kind of see the strap, the strap here. So I'm just going to So I'm just going to pin where it fits together. Maybe next time I make this, I might just tape this piece onto that piece and then cut it out as one so there's not a seam here, especially if they're in the same fabric. So you can totally do that too. All right, so let me put my machine to stretch fabric. Um, Esther is asking, are you going to put support bra? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to have it, um, just going to have it, uh, just lined. Um, sometimes I do put like a little, um, I put like the, the bathing suit cups in it. You could easily do that in this piece. You could cut it in like, um, you could uh, definitely just before you baste, the lining to the swimsuit you can zigzag like the bust cups around it um but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna have the just like a it's more of a, a fashion suit this one all right so let me stitch um put into my stretch stitch the machine oh there we go so that's some things about starting um so now i'll just kind of start kind of just caught in so i'll just start a little bit after that i know the thing with like this is it's all just so like slippery when working with spandex you just have to be kind of patient there we go And when I, when I sew spandex, I always like to have my hand at the end of the seam. So I'm making sure I'm doing like an even stretch. Um, but this don't even really need to stretch together. I'm just making 
making sure that it's laying nice and flat. Yeah, serger is easy. Um, I know I could serge it, but I wanted to show how like you don't need a serger to sew a swimsuit. You can get a really secure stitch just on your regular sewing machine. So if, if anyone watching just has a regular sewing machine, you can make an entire swimsuit. I know one one live I would like to I'll put my sur uh, serger here and I'll do one project like entirely on the serger because I've recently started learning um, we offered this class with Katrina Walker about you got know, serger master class and she showed like how to like hem on a serger and do so many fun things oh hi there what CKC <laughs> love that thanks for joining. stitch is super stretchy and it's not gonna pop so it's nice and secure all right oh we have our top panel very exciting so now I'm gonna stitch the strap thing with me though is once I sew a swimsuit I'm thinking I need a matching cover up I need this <laughs> I love a, a good swim cover up okay this is, the thing with yeah this is very slippery I might just put a pin back in here just to keep them kind of together stretchy. You can't see it. Let it focus. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to try and let it focus the camera. Oh, it doesn't want to focus on my lovely stitch. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice and stretchy. Oh, it's so cute. I might even top stitch that actually. Maybe I'll do that after. Sometimes I do like to top stitch. Um, yeah, maybe. What do you think? Should I top stitch the allowance like down or up so you see like lime green top stitching on the black fabric what do we think I don't know all right let me sew the seam if I could do a nice like contrasting zigzag top stitch sometimes I like to do that especially if I'm not sewing on the serger because the seam allowances are a bit um, larger so to like have them lay flat I think I will do some top stitching I love top stitching right size too if I grabbed a an existing one piece swimsuit from my collection and I laid it flat and whatever width matched it the best for the size that's what I cut so I didn't even really look at the size chart I just laid a swimsuit that I like the fit of um, and just matched it with the pattern when it was laying flat all right, Esther's saying yes, cute, top stitch, so I will. <laughs> So you can see just the basting stitches that I can just like pull those out later or they'll naturally uh, 
come out once I try it on. They'll, they'll pop. Okay. Oh my gosh. So this is my front swimsuit. I mean, how cute is this already? Oh my gosh. Like, that is so cute. So I think I will top stitch. So I'll top stitch the allowance. I'll, I'll top, do both top stitching on the black pleather fabric because I think the lime green thread will look really cute and kind of tie it, tie it together a little bit, bring the colors bring the colors together. So on the right side, I am going to, I just switch to like oh, a zigzag stitch, so not a stretch stitch. I don't like to do that for uh, top stitching. So I'm going to. All right. Oh, I love it already. So cute. Oh yeah, that was a great idea. Look at how cute that is. And it just makes everything lay flat. I like to top stitch my spandexes. I was worried I might have to switch to a Teflon uh, presser foot for this black pleather, but it looks like it's going okay, so that's good. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. Look at how cute that is. Oh yeah. Super cute. This camera's not focusing very well. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, can you repeat about using another beat? Yeah, um, so what you do, like, let's say, here, I'll go back uh, I, I already put my other bathing suit away, but you see, like you can kind of see the flat width. And so I took a one piece bathing suit that I like the fit of, or it could just be bottom suit just to kind of get that width and you just lay it flat and then you can see, uh, where the seams lie and what size line that that lines up to. And that's the size that I cut. So I just laid my bathing suit flat. And then you need to account for some seam allowance too, but like, so even if it extended like a little bit on each side, that accounts for the seam allowance. So I just laid it flat and that's what helped me to determine which size to cut um, my, my pattern in. Okay, so let's top stitch down here too. Because sometimes it's hard to determine a size, especially because bathing suit patterns have negative ease. So the pattern is actually smaller than your body measurements. So when you're working with a pattern that's like a woven or a dress or pants, especially like I measure my hip and I kind of measure the pattern. I kind of know how much ease is in. But for this, like a swimsuit, it's actually smaller because we need to account for um, it's stretching over our body. I love top stitching. It's very relaxing for me too. top stitch the strap too just so it's more secure yeah, but look at that top stitching that is so cute and then it kind of brings in the lime green that's very I love that all right and I'm just going to top stitch the strap allowance as well 
So now I'm going to pin to the back. So I'm just laying this right side up. And then I am going to take my back. And the back I just cut in my full. <laughs> Wood grit. Isn't this just such a fun spandex? The wooden bathing suit. I love it. So unique. Super fun. I feel like now I need some like cute like sandals that have like a wooden heel to kind of bring the look together. So I'm just gonna pin the side seams and the crotch seam together and then I will stitch everything. And then we're just elasticating the leg holes and the strap and then we're done. Like this, a swimsuit comes together so, so quickly or so quick. Side seams together. Go. And actually, you can get this pattern. Uh, the Salida swimsuit is actually free on So Daily right now because we are we're doing like a monthly free pattern download, um, and you can just you can grab it for free. So. <laughs> And then you can sew along and show off your fabric combinations because I love paneling different spandexes together. All right, so now I'm just going to stitch my side seams. And even if you don't have a serger, you can, I'm sewing mine just on my regular sewing machine. You can too. Oh, see, I always do this. I'm still with my top stitching zigzag. I never check my stitch. I just... I just go for it, so I'm just gonna. I do that with gathering all the time. I forget to put my stitch length back to normal. Overloaded my pin cushion. I don't think it can handle much more. I, need to, I always forget to empty it. side seam sewn. Now I'll do the crotch seam. Hello from Chicago. Hello. So far we have like the never the Netherlands. We have Spain, and we have everybody, everybody t tuning in. <laughs> okay, so our crotch seam is sewn, and we just have our last side seam, and that's like kind of the last seam of our swimsuit. And then we just elasticate all of our edges, and then for the strap, I'll just have to try it on and then pin and top stitch the strap in the back. I am ready to jump in the pool. I know we have a, like a water park type thing near our house um, with like water slides and stuff. And I want to go so bad. <laughs> it looks so fun.
know if I'm gonna, I might top stitch my side seams. Just so they lay flat. I think I'm going to, sorry, I thought, you know when you put lip gloss on and your hair sticks to your mouth? It's like hair stuck. Oh, there we go, I got it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna top stitch along the side seams just so they lay flat and on the crotch seam as well. So I'm just gonna top stitch. There we go. I just like, yeah, I wouldn't top stitch if I'm surging, but just since um, the allowances get a little bigger, because I cut off some when I'm surging, so it's not as big of a an allowance, so I just like to top stitch. Oh, half it there. Yeah, so I just top stitch my crotch seam, and I'm just gonna quickly top stitch my side seams as well. I'm gonna top stitch them towards the back. So I'm just going to. And when I'm top stitching, a little trick I like to do, so you see this part of the foot right here, I line it up with this seam. So when I'm top stitching, it's the same distance. So I just, I pick like a landmark to uh, top stitch. And so I'm just feeding in that inner edge to line up with my seam. Top stitching makes the seam extra secure too. Oh yeah, that's nice. What a fun bathing suit. This is so cute. That's why I love sw making your own swimmer. You can just have so much fun with it. Anything is possible. Any two spandexes can go together. Just like um, before you elasticate all the edges, if you do want to do just a quick try on, because it's easier to adjust seams and everything before you install the elastic. Um, just it's a lot more to take out. Where like even before you top stitch, you could just do a little try on. Okay, so I have my side seams all top stitched. I have all my seams top stitched. And now it's time to elasticate all of my edges. Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh, I just love it. So what I'm going to do is the pattern has like elastic length guides, but I don't use those. I just take my roll of elastic and I just have it with me at the sewing machine and I just stitch and stretch just as I go. So I'm just going to kind of lightly keeping the same tension around um, the edges to be elasticated. And I'll show you when I get to the leg holes. So when I elasticate the leg holes, what I do is I start at the crotch seam. And then when I'm elasticating around the back kind of curve, I stretch it more. So we have like a, a little cupping shape for, you know, um, shaping and elasticating around around the back. So that's what I do for the leg hole. So I stretch it more in these portions right here and I really don't stretch too much around the front. So I'm just gonna take my elastic and just bring it with me to my sewing machine and then I cut it when I'm just done the seam. So I just like let it roll on the floor. I just take, uh, I just take some and then, so we're gonna elasticate 
starting at one end of the strap all around the neckline and then up to the other side of the strap. We're going to um, install the elastic and then we flip it to the wrong side and top stitch it in place. So I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch. I'm not gonna do a stretch stitch when I'm elasticating. I just do a, a zigzag and I'm on the working from the wrong side of the spandex. Sometimes it's hard with spandex because the right and wrong side are truly very similar. So I wanna make sure I'm working from the wrong side. So I'm gonna start at one end of the strap. Oh, did I ever want? Oh, the center, yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna start it a little bit and then I'm gonna slightly stretch just the elastic. So just a little bit. And I know you can use like, there's so many great like elast uh, elasticator foot. And I'm just keeping an even, an even tension. I'm not stretching it too much. It's not, it could stretch more. It's just like a light little pull because you can kind of see it um, gather in and that, you know, really helps it secure. And then we'll flip it around to the wrong side and we'll top stitch it. So I'm just doing like a light, a light pull and I'm not stretching the lower piece at all. I just let it go through the sewing machine. So I just kind of have it here. And you can do, like, usually I would just take my elastic and use my serger. But again, I want to show, like, you can do every step just on your regular sewing machine. see kind of here a little bit how it's like stretching it and I'm gonna trim that that's just like a little point be more elastic <laughs> yeah I just let it just have the whole roll on the, on the floor so I just I don't I don't cut it before I, until I sew it basically So I reached the end of the strap. So now I'm just going to trim it. So you can see now it's all elasticated around the entire strap and top edge. Oh, that is so cute. Oh yeah. 
so cute. So now I'm gonna do the leg holes. Yes, so easy, isn't it? Okay. So now it's time for the leg holes. So I like to start, actually I'm gonna start at the side seam because we're gonna overlap the elastic and it's just not as comfortable to have that extra elastic bulk at the crotch seam. So I'm gonna overlap it at the side seam. So I'm just gonna start from the wrong side. This is my side seam right here. Okay, and now this is my front, so I'm not gonna stretch it too, too much. Just like the same that I kind of stretch. my top piece. And so now I'm passing over the crotch seam. So I know I'm um, on the back piece now. So that section right here for the back, I'm just gonna pull my elastic just a little bit more. And then we reach, here we go, we're at the start again. And so I'm just going to over, so I'm just putting this over that edge. And then I just trim it. So you can kind of see, look at the back now, how it's like extra gathered in the back just for that extra little support in the back. Oh yes, so now we have one elasticated and we do the other and then we top stitch and we're done. Start at the side seam again and this time when I'm starting at the side seam I'm starting at the back so I'm gonna do that kind of more stretch first And then now we're passing over the crotch seam to the front, so I'm not gonna pull as much. So that's the end of the elastic. I just place it right, right on top. And then back stitch. And then cut my thread and then trim my elastic. All done. So show. So this is what my swimsuit looks like. now. So you can see we have the backs elasticated and I'm just going to make sure, yes, that they're the same width. Go. I'm just going to use my rotary cutter to trim some of the fabric before I top stitch it. So there was that point in the side seam. I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and just trim that off. I think it was some Back. 
yeah, just around the crotch. Let's see, bit. making sure I don't cut any of the elastic. So now what I'm going to do is actually flip these edges to the wrong side and just top stitch, top stitch them. Oh, it's going to be so cute. Oh yeah, that is going to be very nice. So I just kind of start, I'm in the same zigzag stitch, so I'm just going to start at one end of the strap and working from the right side now. And you're going to have to stretch the fabric a little bit so you're not kind of top stitching any of the puckers down um, because it when you elasticate it you know so I'm going to be kind of stretching it as much as oh, <laughs> the needle wasn't in so uh, stretch it as much as I did when the I inserted the elastic and for swimmer spandex I mean so swimmer elastic I like to use elastic that's like three eighths of an inch wide. I find that a quarter of an inch elastic is too small and half of an inch elastic is too wide for like leg holes and elasticating edges. Sometimes this it's a little hard to start. So I'm just gonna, there we go. So now I'm just rolling in my seam to the wrong side. top stitching oh it's oh, so professional you could also use a twin needle here that's a really nice finish for swimwear and I like to I like to pull a little bit this way because we want that elastic to get right on that edge. So I kind of, I always have one hand here kind of turning and then my other hand is slightly pulling away. So this is kind of my setup for, for doing this seam. And then I just kind of adjust. So I'm gonna come back here and do some flipping and then I'm gonna push my fabric Esther, uh, Esther asked, it's not a, you don't use a stretch stitch or a zigzag. It's actually a straight stitch and the bobbin zigzags to make it stretchy. So you don't use a zigzag stitch with a twin needle. You actually use a straight stitch. So you, you get that visual of two straight stitching lines. That's a great question. And you usually on your sewing machine, you have to set it to a twin needle setting. Um, you can't just, uh, you need to like let your machine know that you have a twin needle installed and you'll need two spools of thread at the top. So you have like a special, um, top stitching, like a color of thread and you only have one spool of it. What you can do is a little trick is you wind a bobbin. So you wind two bobbins, one bobbin for the machine and then one bobbin for up top to get that separate, uh, you need the two, two separate spools for each needle. I'm almost done.
to get like a a necklace that I can attach my scissors to. Oh, look at that. Like, look at how nice and stretchy and secure that is. Oh, that's so great. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So now my top is nice and elasticated and secure. There's one from the wrong side. So now it's just top stitching the leg holes. And I like to start at the crotch seam. So for back stitching, you don't, um, you won't see it. Um, as much as you would on the side seam. So I'm just going to flip it and just start right at that seam. And just kind of go around my leg. Yeah, this literally under an hour. I'm going to finish it by the top of the hour. And I cut it out this morning and it didn't take me long to tile the pattern or cut out the fabric. So if you have a pool party to go to tonight, you can make a new swimsuit in an hour <laughs> this afternoon and have a whole new swimsuit and just use up pieces of scrap knit fabric. Like literally like you just need little pieces like this big. That's what's great about a panel swim pattern too because it's more little pieces. You can use up scraps, have fun tiling different or paneling different spandex together like I did. So I'm at my crotch seam again. I'm just gonna clip my, clip my threads. And you see I'm really like I'm pulling uh, to make sure that's nice and um, tight around the elastic fold. Oh yeah. I can't wait to try this on. I might just have to run out in the sprinkler for a little bit. I mean, it's sure hot enough where there's some heat waves going on and it's very hot and humid out. So swimsuit will be perfect. have to get my iron out to heat. That's why I love sewing swimwear too. No pressing in between seams. So quick and easy. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so for the month of July, go to just the homepage of Sew Daily download this pattern for free. If you're watching this after July, I'm sorry you missed the free <laughs> the free period. And then like check back every month. Come back every month because we're doing like a, a monthly freebie where we offer up a pattern. So just check back and snag a free sewing pattern. All right. Are done. I just sewed a swimsuit. I didn't start sewing right at the top of the uh, right at the top of the hour when I started. I did some chit chat <laughs> and pinning and stuff before, so it's super easy. So let's lay it down. So look at that. All done. We have our nice elasticated, and you can kind of see when we stretch that nice shaping in the back and. The elastication uh, at the top, the elastication will keep it nice and tight and supportive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's see, I think the strap kind of goes on an angle. So I'm going to pin my strap and then I'm going to try it on and then I'm just going to, within the existing top stitching, I'm just going to top stitch the strap in place. So it'll be all done. 
and that's your glass seam. So that is how you sew our Salida swimsuit. Comes together in an hour. Really cute one shoulder design, paneled together, different fabrics, and you can just have super, a lot of fun with it. So thank you for joining everybody who did and definitely try sewing one yourself. You don't need any fancy different machines. You can just use your regular sewing machine with a stretch stitch and a zigzag stitch and a stretch sewing needle. That's all you need. So definitely try it out and tag us on social media at So News so we can see your swimsuits and yeah. Just have fun with it. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning in. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next month for, I don't know what I'm going to sew. So comment below. What, what should I make next month? What should I make in, oh my gosh, August. I was almost going to say July, but this is July. <laughs>